वेलकम टू ऑप्टिकल फाइबर कम्युनिकेशन प्लेलिस्ट हियर इन दिस सेशन आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन एलईडी स्ट्रक्चर्स सो द कॉमन एलईडी स्ट्रक्चर दैट वी यूज इन फाइबर ऑप्टिक कम्युनिकेशन दैट इज होमो जंक्शन एलईडी एज वेल एज हेट्रो जंक्शन एलईडी सो इन दिस सेशन आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन वॉट इज होमो जंक्शन एलईडी एंड वॉट इज हेट्रो जंक्शन एलईडी so when we talk about homo junction led then what is homo junction led first of all see homo junction led that is made up of pm junction of two mixture with same type of atoms like see when we use p type material and n type material in pn junction then p and n both materials are made up of same atoms in that case we can say that pn junction that is homo junction pn junction and in case of hetero junction when we have pn junction then that pn junction is made up of two different layers of atoms so in that case that pn junction will be hetero junction pn junction and when you made light emitting diode using homo junction means same type of atoms with different two mixtures like if you have silicon as a semiconductor material but with different doping you can have p type material and n type material while over here in hetero junctions you will be having semiconductor material with different band gaps so to have different band gaps you will have to use two different layer with different atoms so in homo junction led you will be having same material of semiconductor material only difference will be doping will be different and in hetero junction led there will be two different layers will be there and both layers are having different band gaps so this is what the basic thing which is there with homo junction and hetero junction now see here all those things that i have mentioned homo junction led is also called as surface emitting led so when we have surface emitting led in that we will be using that homo junction homo junction means two similar semiconductor material for n as well as p type of layer will be there only doping will be different while in case of hetero junction led it is having one basic example that is age emitting led so hetero junction led is also referred as age emitting led and in that we'll be using two different layers with different band gaps so this is what about homo junction led and hetero junction led now see what are the advantages and disadvantages which is there with homo junction and hetero junction so see in homo junction led advantage is it has low terminal impedance the reason is it has more cross sectional area with that particular terminal its terminal impedance will be less but it is having disadvantage that it emits light with non directional so because of it is emitting light with non directional you will be finding its if quantum efficiency that will be less so for low data rate we use homo junction led means surface emitting led and for hetero junction led there are few advantages see due to increased current density fine light spot is obtained so here in hetero junction led you will be finding light spot is very fine light emitting area is small so we can easily launch it in fiber and data rate will be high so this is what about homo junction and hetero junction led in detail we will see separate session for surface emitting led and age emitting led so for that i, I have made separate sessions for this two led where we will see structure wise how things are happening how light is getting emitted so all those things that we will discuss in separate session here 
this session is to inform what is the meaning of homo junction and what is the meaning of hetero junction the reason is so many times in basic electronics even this terminologies are coming at that time students are getting confused so here i have made this session to explain what is the meaning of those terms automatically you can be able to give right you can be able to give answer in examination once you know what is the meaning of homo junction and hetero junction i hope that you have understood this session thank you so much for watching this video you can give your valuable suggestions definitely based on it in future i'll make videos which will ensure all those basics to be covered on my channel and that will be helpful to students those who are learning from my channel thank you so much for watching this video